Happy New Year's to everybody out there. I am so excited, more happier than ever to wish you guys a happy new year. We've made it 2014, the year in which the Lord is going to act more mightily in your life than ever before. This is now just one of those, you know, feel good message at the beginning of the year. But our, our theme this year is from Psalms 119 verse 126, which it says, Lord, it is time for you to act. Or in other version, it says, it is time for the Lord to act. It is the time for the Lord to come and act mightily in your marriages, in your schools, in your relationships, in your jobs, spiritually, mentally, in wisdom, more grace, more power, in everything that you do. But the Lord come and the things that He has promised will come to pass in your life this year in Jesus' name. I proclaim it to be done. I proclaim it to come into fruition in your life. In Jesus' name. It is yours truly. There's greater things that are in store for you this year. Amazing Love 2014 is coming to you. I'm already excited thinking about what the Lord is going to do. But this year, we're going to dive even into more things. There's going to be more speakers. We're going to be more Q&As. We're going to have more breakout sessions, more people. We are going to expand into bigger cities. We are trying to reach out to many youth, young adults, parents. Our goal is really to display the love of Christ to the many because the love of Christ compels us to live a life according to his word, according to the righteousness. So we are, we're, I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid to engage the culture, to bring this gospel outside the walls of the church so that people may be able to experience God in 2014. So I pray that this year may not only be a blessed year, but maybe a year where you can be able to take Take the opportunities that was going to be placed in front of you. The open doors that you, it may not just be an open door, but an open door in which you walk through. Yes. You guys have no idea what God is going to do. I mean, you have no idea. Just 2013 was a great year. From all the things I can imagine I've gone through, even from some of the tragedies that we were hit with, from the people passing away to the natural disasters that happened, you know, the Lord was fortunate enough to let us learn through our mistakes, learn through our tragedies, but yet equip us and prepare us for the greater things, the open doors that He has in store for us. Uh, I think of Genesis 13 verse 14, when the Lord was talking to Abraham and says, Look at the north, look in the south, the east and the west, and everywhere you see, as far as you see, I will give it possession unto you. I will give you as far as your eyes can see. Woo, that's powerful. I take that and I personalize that verse. That the Lord will give Salem as far as he can see. That everywhere I go, that influence, that favor, that grace will follow me. That in open door, it is time for the Lord to move. It is time for his grace to come abundantly in our life. Not only for my life, but for your life as well. It is the year that the Lord would act and show himself more mightily than before in your life. A year of unconditional favor. I, I, I take it from Galatians chapter 6, verse 17, where it says, Let no man trouble me, because I bear on me the mark of Christ. Woo! May that be as well for you, that everywhere you go, people will, will open doors for you, people will like you, they don't even know why, but they just favor you. Because on you, you have the mark of Christ. You are set apart and you are called to succeed in Jesus' name. Listen, you can choose not to believe me. You can choose to just hear and be like, ah, whatever. But the truth is, that's the word of God and that's what he said. So I take it in possession and I believe that will come to fruition in my life. And I pray that that also may be yours. That you believe that God will set you apart this year. That you will be favored in Jesus' name. I pray that with the challenges that will be ahead of you, that the Lord will also give you the strength, the wisdom, and equip you for those challenges. Because as the Lord said in Deuteronomy, as thy days are, so shall thy strength be. So as hard as the day, the greater shall be the strength that will go with you. Oh, that makes me so joyful just to think about what the Lord would do. This year is going to be a pleasure. It is time for the Lord to manifest 
in your life. It is time for healing. It is time for grace. It is time for redemption. It is time for prosperity. It is time for love. It is time for renewing. It is time for restoration. It is time for higher levels. It is time for a deeper dimension. It is time for intimacy. It is time for greater anointing. It is time for a new dimension of God in your life like never before. 2014. A year to be remembered. A year to see God in action. I bless this year for you, your family, and your entourage. In Jesus' name, yours truly. Amazing God.